Smoking hot lights, don't look at it moving. <laughs> Video art is not really based on an economic structure, which almost all television, except for public access, is based on selling you something. Most television, except for maybe TV commercials, um, is based on a traditional form of editing, which is something that you can learn in school that has to do with a kind of uh, representation of the way we theoretically see, which is in long shots, medium shots, close-ups, and intercutting, and so forth. And, and uh, you know, these are conventions of uh, television and cinema, whereas the video artists will sit down and, and throw those conventions out the window and always look for different ways of representing ideas, different ways of communicating, you know, because you have a a really powerful tool that kind of parallels the human consciousness, which has sight, sound, and uh, motion, you know, kind of. So it's a very, what I call, mimetic technology, which is that it, it really mimics uh, in a way that almost like psychedelic drugs mimic certain thought patterns that, uh, you know, we, Film and television come so close to the way that we actually think and perceive things that it, that it becomes a kind of a virtual situation. And uh, in fact, the editing structures of television really, um, they work so well. It's a shorthand that works so well that a lot of the people involved with it stop trying to push it, you know. But, it, a lot of video artists have never stopped trying to push it, you know, so that's what makes it so interesting.